here to tell you about my first experience with the alt mill and I gotta tell you, I don't like it. Hey there CNC here, Scott here again for CNC Labs. This video is about my first experience with the alt mill and uh, basically, I mean, we're gonna dive right in. So we knew when the alt mill was coming out that we were gonna have to come up with some marketing material to make some videos to get you guys hyped about what the alt mill could do. That led to us thinking about some projects and some project ideas. We wanted to show what this machine could do. We can fit a half a sheet of plywood on this thing without any issues whatsoever. So we knew we were gonna have to do some big projects to really maximize the size of the machine and show it off. We knew those projects were probably gonna be geared a little bit more towards a volume or kind of production style environment because the alt mill can handle that kind of work. Project number one, Daniel wanted to do a big sign and big sign makes sense on, you know, big alt mill. So that was Daniel's idea. Couple of different materials, big sign, lots of cuts. Project number two, like I said, we can throw a half sheet of plywood on here, no problem. So I wanted to do something with like flat pack furniture or something that was gonna really maximize the overall size of the footprint, as well as maximizing, you know, fitting all those pieces and nesting and the design onto that area to maximize the material. Project number three was going to focus on mass product production, meaning lots of things, meaning volume, because let's face it, volume is where the money's at. So we've kind of touched on the size of this machine and how it can help you, you know, maximize your cuts and all your, your volume and all that stuff. But now we're gonna finally get to the point where, you know, I'm gonna talk about what I don't like about the alt mill. This thing is so freaking fast, it scared the hell out of me. That's what I didn't like about the alt mill. It's a beast. It chews through wood faster than you can pause. It, it's faster than a greased cheetah. It is a monster. It annihilates wood. It is just craziness. It's rude. It's got no manners. It just does what it wants to do, which is ultimately what you tell it to do, which is amazing on so many levels. And I'm saying all of these words in the best possible meaning of the words. Daniel's project is up first. He was wanting to do a big sign and it just so happened that he did it out of plywood, uh, half inch plywood, but signs and big signs were one of the, were, were kind of like the focus for this project on the alt mill because signs can be made out of absolutely lots of different materials, uh, not just plywood. So it just so happened. Uh, he was running half inch plywood and we were mowing through that at about 315 inches per minute. I think that's what, that's... 8,000 millimeters a minute with a, what was it? A quarter inch compression bit. And you can see from the video that this thing was like, it wasn't even blinking. It was just mowing right through this. Just to let that sink in a little bit, we cut out this giant sign. There, I think there was 30 plus pieces of plywood cut on this project to make his five foot by six foot parametric wall sign in about 15 minutes flat like that that doesn't make sense to me it, it was it was it was baffling to see how fast this machine was just obliterating this project for us it was craziness so that was my first actual hands-on experience watching the alt mill run a project it was on daniel's big sign and again it staggered me i was i was <laughs> i want to say confused but i wasn't confused i was in awe of what it was doing because it was just moving so fast so accurately and it was just crushing this project so that leads into my first project which was going to be my first chance to actually run the machine itself up until then you know I, I watched Daniel do his and then it was my turn I won't lie I had I wouldn't say no idea of how far we could push the feeds and the speeds on this thing when I walked in um, I was looking to Daniel um, the you know the guy who created it to kind of steer me in the right direction so that's what I did very large knocking of wood yeah this is only getting mildly worn for how fast it's Moving. Yeah. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Maybe the apple, I assume? Yes. Alrighty. Um, so we got to my first project, which was going to be these kid sized coat racks that kind of slot together. So like the flat pack furniture idea. So my design was to maximize that sheet of plywood as best I could, um, and to fit as many on there as I could as well. So, uh, for that project, it was three quarter inch plywood. We did three quarter inch depth of cut. That is a 
full cut on three quarter inch plywood in case you weren't able to do that math. Um, we're using a quarter inch down cut and we were running that thing at 250 inches per minute. I'm gonna say that again, Louis's not gonna have to do a cut. 250 inches per minute at three quarters of an inch cut. That's craziness. Like I, I'm, I'm sitting here a full however long later and I'm still baffled by how quickly and how effortlessly it just cut right through that wood. To do the math, that was about eight minutes to cut out those three shapes on that one piece of plywood. So we basically created three trees, three of these coat racks in like eight minutes and three quarter inch plywood. That is absurd with how fast it was moving through the material. So I'm not sure if you guys can tell from the videos, I think from the comments, I can, you know, I've gathered that you can, but when the alt mill moves, it moves. And that's why when I describe it as, you know, like rude or has no manners, I mean that in the most complimentary way we could say that. Um, it, it's not a negative connotation. It just, it is so intimidating to a degree that until you start to get used to it, it catches you off guard and you, you, will go, you know, you want to be a little bit extra careful around it. If you're not keeping tally, that is two projects, a massive sign, five by six, three of these three quarter inch kid coat trees punched out and let's call it half an hour of cut time. So we've got like two projects done, cut, ready to basically assemble in 30 minutes. Let that sink in. Project number three for the day. Um, and just a different kind of test versus kind of the plywood ones is I wanted to see what the alt mill could do in some actual solid wood. So I call it real wood because, you know, plywood is real wood, but there's some other stuff in there too. This was going to be, um, you know, some decent sized trays made out of solid walnut. I had this piece of walnut hanging around my shop for the last couple of years and I've had a lot of people actually ask me for like these just like catch-all trays and quite honestly I've just never gotten around to doing it but for this project I thought it would be a perfect test to do kind of like that volume I was talking about earlier. Volume meaning we were going to, I was going to take three pieces of walnut, glue them, stick them down, screw them down side by side, create my file so that we could mow through was it 12? I think it was 12 of these trays and let's see how fast the alt mill can actually, you know, crunch these out. By this point, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of laughing at the absurdity of how simple this project was because of what I had seen with the previous two in the alt mill. It was like, I was, you know, sitting back just saying, well, you know, how long until we're done? Because it's not gonna be very long. Uh, the biggest kind of change was that we had a couple of bit changes in this one. You know, we had a bowl bit, we had a roughing bit, and then we had a profile pass. So it was gonna be a little bit of a different test, but uh, it was a test that I was, already feeling after two projects extremely confident that the alt mill was going to just kind of say when are you going to challenge me so for my trays uh again i looked to daniel for my feeds and my speeds we decided that we i mean he decided that we were going to run i believe it was we did the roughing pass first so it's meant to chew through a lot of material so he said hey you know what it's solid walnut let's run it at 200 inches per minute at half an inch depth uh, i'm sorry <laughs> we're going to run through solid walnut like half inch depth with a quarter inch bit that's not really how it usually goes but you know what you're the engineer sure i'll trust you you sitting there watching this would you personally want to you know experiment and run a quarter inch bit half inch deep at 200 inch inches per minute through solid walnut let us know in the comments below because i didn't i mean I believed him i trusted him but i mean we're still talking solid wood and 200 inches per minute at half inch depth that's Kind of crazy for what we're talking about, but anyway, we tried it. You can see some of the results. Sufficient to say that quarter inch roughing bit just ripped through these passes. Uh, it didn't even flinch. It sounded like, uh, to put as one of the comments on the videos was, Satan screaming. But truth be told, the only thing screaming was the alt mill screaming through these trays. After the roughing pass, we ran a full one inch ball nose bit. Uh, we ran that thing, what was it? It was about uh, 100 inches per minute at quarter inch passes. And following the ball nose pass, we ran the profile pass that was going about halfway through. So about 0.4 inches, 0.38 inches at 150 inches per minute. Again, the machine didn't stutter. It didn't shake. It didn't do anything. It looked at this project and just laughed at us and said, again, what do you got that's actually going to challenge me? Because so far we've thrown three projects at it and it has spit them. It, it's, it's chopped them up and spit them out and, you know, given us amazing projects all in like an hour. And just like every other cut it had made to that point in the day, it was forceful and purposeful and aggressive and 
I, I don't want to use the word rude, but it just did what it wanted to do, which again was ultimately what we told it to do. But man, it just moves with a purpose. At one point, um, even though I knew the toolpath that the machine was going to take, I was trying to get some footage kind of up close showing off what it was doing and how fast it was going. And it moved so quickly in my direction, even though I knew where it was going, that I almost got hit in the face of it. Hello. So those are the three projects that we did, guys. I wanted to share my excitement to get you as hyped as I was after using it for my first time. I'm well aware I made a terrible joke in the beginning saying that I didn't like the alt mill, but pretty clearly I do. And I think you guys are going to love it too. We can't wait for you to get your alt mills. We are working as hard as we can to get them finished so you can experience firsthand just how incredible the stunning machine is. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. We are absolutely grateful that you choose to watch our stuff. Please hit that like button. It does help us out, you know, spread the algorithm, spread the love, share the goodness. We know that you all have something to say about the alt mill. So please feel free to chime in, comment down below. We'll answer, we'll let you know our thoughts and you know, and see you around the CNC. The alt mill is so ridiculously rigid and strong, it can lift like an actual Daniel.